I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas hating, I pay the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas hating, I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt ain't nobody really fucking with me. Hey man, say man, welcome, welcome back to Live Free TV, TV man. man. Let's get it. Let's go. Hey, look, man. Back with another Tom McDonald, oh, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all told us, man. Oh, man. We had to go down this rabbit hole, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all keep on sending in y'all requests of, of songs y'all want to see us react to. You know what I'm saying? We keep on doing it. But right now, we're going to put our attention on Dear Rappers. And look at the title. First off, I have to say something. <laughs> Dear Rappers. <laughs> Hey, li imagine how many times this is, for example, if you were, if you were just writing a letter to anyone that you didn't like, you know, mm -hmm. they're haters or yeah. they're <laughs> so and so, they're <laughs> you hating so and so and so and so. You know what I mean? Come on, you fill in the blanks. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But you, come on, man. You already know it's a bank once you hear their rappers. rappers. You feel me? It's, this man got him a little message. Yep, he got him a little message. He's uh. He's uh trying to put out there. You feel me? You know we we all know Tom McDonald very controversial. So you yeah, know. Mr. Controversy himself. You know what I mean? So you know Mr. Uh, shake the game up himself. Uh, shall I go on? Shall man. I go on? Shall I go on, y'all? Before you go <laughs> on or get any further, I say, ladies and gentlemen. Man, y'all know no, how we coming, man. man. We coming oh, at y'all with some light. light. Some slight light, light you feel me? Hey, let's man. get it, man. Let's get into it. That boy Tom, man. He, man, he, Tom get in, get get Tom get the whole crowd excited. I'm man. telling you, bro, Tom, Tom, you know, like just just to throw it out there, bro. Tom gets my utmost respect. Man, you right. know what I'm saying? I respect him. I respect him as a person. I respect him as a rapper. Just everything. This whole it's a whole vibe. You feel what I'm saying? It's just everything that he just stands for, bro. And it's through his music. I, I, I learned a lot about him through his music, bro. Oh, yes, man. Who? Uh, you tell that. I me mean, like you can learn a lot about a person through yeah. through, through their music. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. Man, you you would think that we go through. We had already went through all this music, man. But this is actually our first time hearing us uh, hearing this. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Lead this. Yeah. So, Hey man, like I said, every time we hear some, every time we hear Hall Gang, Hall Gang, Hall Gang. Hall first gang. of all, shout out to the Hall Gang. Hall man. Gang, we in the building, man. Let's get it. Hall Tom, Tom McDonald, Gang, dear rappers, let's go. Hall Gang. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all Talk about the days when they used to be sad I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance Maybe oh, y'all can help oh, me Oh man, oh man Already bro, oh, already. already Already Man, it's easy for these rappers Rappers who have it all talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even yeah. want to make my mouth go. I just want to oh. win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Oh, hold on. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I'm just trying to take care of my household. Hey, I just thought about it, man. We only in the floor for. for, for First 14 seconds of this, man. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it, every time. Every time. Every time, bro. Man, every wait. single time. Bro, what? <laughs> I'm talking about, man, God. And some, he already popping his shit. He's popping his shit. That lets you know, bro. He really, really has some. He wanted to get off his chest. I'm talking, mm -hmm. about, I'm talking about soon the beat come on, bro. Soon as the beat come on, bro. Soon the beat come on, he. There he is. You yeah. know what I mean? Come on. He's just snapping off real. Let's go. A chance maybe y'all can help me out though i'm just trying to take care of my household i don't even want to make my mouth go i just want to win before the system that i'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until i'm out cold he, he just want to he just want to win before the system get a hold of him and, and, and squeeze you know squeeze under under his chin until like squeezing his neck until he out cold. until he out cold bro that's that's bro come on man come on man that, that's already saying a lot the system is wicked, bro. The system is crooked, bro. The system is crooked, bro. You know what I'm saying? They just want, they don't want to see nobody winning. They don't want to see nobody on top. They just want to see everybody just they fall. Don't care. They don't care about your race. They don't <laughs> care about your gender. They don't care. They don't care about none of that shit. They don't care about none of that. They care about this. Yeah, the dollar. That's all they care about. That's That, that, that was a dope-ass line, though. 
18 seconds. Let's go. <laughs> That I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD. That was the Eminem curtain call. Oh, man. Dear album that I bought. I got every single CD. No, the Eminem. No, the Eminem show. Oh, my God. He said, I even got every album. Every one of your albums that I bought, like I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD that you ever <laughs> took a selfie with. <laughs> Why? Hey man. Know? Why? Hey know? man. It it because he he's a, he's an Eminem fan. Yeah, but damn man, I feel it though. But damn man, bro. Damn man. You know what? I'm so glad. I'm so. I am so. I'm gonna tell y'all this too, bro. I am so glad. That Tom McDonald is part of our generation, bro. Well, yes, he is. You know yes, what I'm saying? Uh, I am so glad that we got somebody like him, bro. Yeah. Like to be real, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's go, bro. Yeah, I just go. hopefully one day, hopefully one day, you know, Tom, you see a video of ours. Hopefully one day we can just either we fly out to you to LA or you come to Atlanta, man. We just sit down and just talk, or exactly. you know what I'm saying? We react to one of your songs, you know what I'm saying? Or something, man. We just. I want to meet him. You feel yeah, me? I want. I want to meet him. I want to meet him. We need to have. A, I have to meet I him and talk to, to him. Well, yes. It's just sir. just to really see like see like where like where his head really is. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. as far as how he feel about certain things. You know what I'm saying? And even go over a few of our videos of us talking about like you know this real conscious shit. Yeah. yeah this real world shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But let's go. We only 25 seconds in, and he already making us talk. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot Oh my god, what a mess Your words help me deal with the stress Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed Used to uh. pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest Ooh. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left Your music feels kinda like you're trying to write a check Everything uh. is digital, I mean no disrespect But I'm paying even more and you give me even less Ooh. What the fuck? You taught me to think, you taught me to grow You taught me the things to survive on my own But now mm. you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke You teach me to think, every woman's a hoe I I don't want your Xanax bars or your fancy foreign cars Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Yeah. Just a drug addict I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's oh, more God. important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Oh, 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 mm, mm. But if he just said, he just broke it down. You can't say that he one said, of them uh, 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 earful then. That was the earful. This man said, these rappers are more worried about, it's not It's not even about this though. Like, but it's, it, you you more worried about um, money, goddamn Cars, clothes, where you live, type of house you got, just, just, just a type of chick you got, type of chick you got, like, bro, dear rappers, yeah, a lot of that shit don't mean nothing. All that flashy jury and all that shit, that shit don't really mean nothing. Exactly, you know you what I'm saying? All, because you can have all that and still you, you, not, you can have all of it and still have nothing, bro. Yeah, you can have all that and still not have all that without peace. You ain't gonna, you, you trying Listen, to buy it? You got a damn, you got a damn. uh uh, forty to fifty thousand, hundred k, hundred 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 thousand dollar chain or something, bro. But you sleeping on you sleeping on somebody's fucking couch. Yeah. How the fuck that work, bro? <laughs> you got you got a whole house around your neck. That I would man, listen. <laughs> you got a whole house around your neck. Man, what? Come on, bro. Like the jury, the jury, the jury don't mean nothing. I love jury myself, but at the same time, like it don't mean nothing, bro. Man, I rock rubber band before I rock some jewelry. You know, I, bro, I, I keep little necklaces right. like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know, I get, you know, I still get some. I love jewelry. Yeah, you know, I, I love jewelry, but that's understand. I really, I do, and, and you know, and I know that, but some some folks just take it too far. You yeah, know they what take mean? it like, too far, bro. Like, bro, if you come on, man. <clears throat> I'm not about to. I'm not about to rock a chain that costs more than anything that I drive. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's just though. It's just like it's it's what you do. It's like what you do with your money. Cause mm -hmm. like you know you you can have all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't doing the right thing with your money, bro, that shit don't mean nothing. Because if you still broke and you got a chain like that around your neck, what what does that make you look like? A fool. 
or ha- a, a straight up fool. Or, 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 I think I feel like another place you were going to, man. All that money ain't gonna buy you happiness, y'all. It definitely mm-hmm. not gonna buy you happiness. Bro. All that money won't buy you happiness, man. You just gonna buy things you like. Mm-hmm, that's, that's it. it. <laughs> Medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Okay. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Uh-huh. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Oh my yeah. god. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell uh-huh. me. Cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy. If I'm really being honest, all this shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blind. What mm. the fuck do you mean? Go, cool, man. See, yes, that's sir. what we talking about, bro. See, that's, that's what that's what that's, we fuck with him because he says the stuff yeah, people don't want to say. Goddamn it, yeah, bro. Like that's I feel like, and that's bro. I feel that's where the most of his controversy comes in at mm-hmm. because he's talking about these rappers got a lot of shit to talk about. Talking about fires. Let's say, yeah, man, this watch or I man go ahead and pop what, this what, 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 what or pop girl I'm doing. Oh, yeah, damn, man, all you know this shit, man. But look, you got plenty of man, you got plenty of people getting shot mm-hmm. and killed every day, every day by the and, and the police is we're not gonna act like the police has yeah, no, no no different. Yeah, plays no part in this. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Because they do play their part. You know what I mean? And I'm not gonna say all police officers are fucked up. But I'm saying for the fucked up ones that's out there, mm-hmm. uh, it, it, it's, it's reasons for this conversation. You know what I mean? There's reasons for this conversation. I'm trying to tell you, Tommy Donald brings conversation. And, and, and the, Trump, the Trump line, I oh. felt I felt that. That was hard. That was hard. That was a hard bar. That was that. a hard bar. Because it was just all truth. And it's just all truth in those couple bars he just spit. And we elected Donald Trump. We elected Donald Trump, bro. The biggest joke in American history. I'm telling you, the biggest laughing stock, bro. Really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming. I need someone to look up to. You're living in a country that elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are killing people every day, and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded <laughs> by the money, you've uh-huh. been blinded by the cars, you've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Well, see? I- bro, exactly. You have to know who the hell you are first, bro. You can't be blinded by that dumb shit. Because all that dumb shit, bro, all that dumb shit should just be out the window, bro. Let's see. Those, you should be focusing on going the right direction. The, the, you know all, what I mean? All, the, the dumb shit is some extra influences. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? See, when you, when you, when you, whenever you step into the game, you need to step into the game having a clear vision and view of who you, you are, are as a person. Right, right. Because if not, when you step into the game, and then once to once once you start seeing the money, once you start seeing the money, that's when you can start seeing the uh, all, all, all the holes. Um, excuse me. All the women. All the women. You go. You gonna see all the all the drugs. That's when the women. When the women comes in. That's when the drugs comes in. Mm-hmm. When the drugs come in. That's when everything else come, starts to fall out. You know what I mean? Right. I'm trying to tell you, man. If you don't have a clear vision of who you are as an individual or as a person, mm-hmm. you step into the game like that, man. You you, you lost. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, you just, lost, bro. You're walking. You're walking blind. You, you're walking with no purpose. You walking blind at that point, but that's that's why I say, man, this man here brings conversation. He do, bro. He bring conversation, bro. Yeah. And all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent a hundred dollars on a ticket to your show, and now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, he taught us how to rap and he taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act. If we wanted to impress, now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. If he ain't said the truth though, listen, Bruh, man. Listen, man. Listen, good. man. You teach it our youth right now. Mm-hmm. Listen, man. Rappers. I feel like he's rappers. Talking, I feel like he's talking from a father's staying the father's point of view when he said that. But you teach it our youth right now to think it's cool to be in the hood. To think it's cool to never even really move out the hood. Right. Man, do you know the real reason why folk if you really from the hood, the real reason why folk come up is to get the hell out? Mm-hmm. You got like, the hood. Don't nobody want to say in the hood all their life, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that all hoods are messed up, dead in the third, but all, man, listen, man. It is, you don't want to live, no, you don't want to live your life like that, bro. Exactly, man. That's in like living place, inside of a box. Yeah, it's like, yeah, being, a bo- being in a box, like a wooden box, bro. Like It's just, a big world out here, It's just man. four walls, bro. And it's too big of a world out here to not go see the world, bro. That we can freely, freely roam. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's too much other stuff. Out here, than just the hood shit and all of that. Like 
basically basically what basically what he was just saying for real though it's just like you're teaching our kids all this shit first of all think about think about this think about um um like a lot of, a lot of little kids nowadays listen to little uzi vert mm. and yes Jaden. <laughs> man yeah so so hard, so so man. like you know like most kids nowadays like i know my little cousins do they listen to like little uzi vert mm -hmm. you know when that song with, with playboy cardi came out and a lot of them listen to six nine mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying who else a lot of them listen to trippy red the the uh, i can't stand his ass little pump mm -hmm. i cannot stand him mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't i don't even like lil zan it's just all these all these all these um all these young ass fucking people i just named bro mm -hmm. these are the same ones that's promoting all of this shit like mm -hmm. it's okay to do drugs it's okay to drink lean and do all of that you know what i'm saying it's, we, could we, we could we you know uh um, rappers get, also got to take into start to realize like you like okay look i know you're not trying to be like rappers feel like i ain't trying to be nobody's like they shouldn't let me feel like they, they shouldn't put me as like no, maybe nobody idol did that in the third. But at the same time, it took you gotta understand that you listen to around the world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If you, especially if you want to know type of artist, when you listen to around the world, you gotta keep this in mind that people are gonna, the youth will take in the mind what you think only because that's what it is. Because when they go to school, they like that's what they listen to. What? All right, but going okay, going back into what you were saying. Man, I just feel like it's a message where he always says, man. Tom McDonald always comes with a message. And these, this Dear Rappers, bro, is the, probably one of the biggest messages that he mm -hmm. has laid out there. Like, man, our youth, man, right now is, is everything. Our youth now is everything. Yep. So, and you know what I mean? The stuff that they see rubs off. Like, the bad stuff they see rubs off. They just need it need to be more good. Yeah, you feel me? rubs off, you know what I'm saying? Like, but you got to think about it, man. Your kids see you on the big screen throwing up gang signs, this, that, and the third. They're going to think that shit cool, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep it a break. They're going to they gonna imitate what they see. Right. Only because they're kids, the children. You mm -hmm. feel me? Because every kid needs some somebody to look up to. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and a lot of the times, even with parents being there, music is still that... that it's it's a it's an outlet for 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 kids. It's an outlet, just like how video games is. It's an outlet for, but music is more to it, it, it more so tends to the emotions that they deal with every day. You mm -hmm. know, like have you, you know, have you have you ever been in a situation where you just oh I'm going through it and, and you'll play some going through a type of music only to the to you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Going on because of the vibe. Like, you yeah, the vibe. Yeah, the way you feeling inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know what you mean. Music is an emotion. It is. You know what it I'm definitely saying? is an emotion. So and, and music can help you cope with a lot of things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it's real melodic, like you know what I'm saying. Just put you in a different, different mood. You know what I'm saying? And rappers need to own up to that. Yep, they do. Rappers need to own up to that. Really need to own up to what they say and how they yeah. say it, because because like a lot of that shit just rubs off. Yeah. That's what he. That's what he's clearly talking about right now. Exactly. You know what I'm it's saying? It's about the owning up part. Yeah, owning up, owning up to what you're doing. Yeah. Because if you're not owning up to what you're doing, bro, then you just you just putting a lot of you just putting a lot of bad energy out there. You know better. Like you, a lot of these rappers do. You know you know better than a rapper ain't no better than a than a a, a, a person who's actually out there selling drugs or mm -hmm. a person who's actually out there robbing or mm -hmm. killing folk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's what this. That's the atmosphere you put out there. Yeah, that your kids out with the, the, these kids nowadays. Listen, go to school. They listen to this. And they go to school. They they imitate this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's go. You taught us how to dress, and you taught us how to act. If we wanted to impress, now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. Yeah. Bars, all your fancy foreign cars <laughs> Throw your money in my face And try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no No, 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 no. Just a drug addict Don't I don't want your Xanax bars All your fancy foreign cars <laughs> Throw your money in my face And try to tell me that it's art No, 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 no Drug addict on TV. Yeah. Mm. Just, just, 
drug addict on TV, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, uh, first of all, the most important, <laughs> man, I feel like that, that, that was a hit. That it was is a hit. hit. That it was a hit, hit, but it was also... It's a good message in it, man. It's a very good message. And, and, and I feel like that is something for folks with... Folks with kids need to listen to. Mm-hmm. Folks with kids need to listen to this song. Only because it speaks a very powerful message. It, it'll be okay, Jay. No, that, that's... That, that's hmm. Tom McDonald. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come look at it. T- Tom McDonald. Okay. You know what I mean? He's really I'll speaking be truth. In a second. He's really speaking okay. facts. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. he's really speaking truth to facts. Like, bad folk okay, with. Huh? What you say? Yeah, open the door. There you go. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, but yeah, this song. This is a good song. It this is a good was song. A good, this was a good song. And I did. Just, <laughs> As, as <laughs> my son be throwing me off sometimes. <laughs> oh, yeah, <I> know. <laughs> he be throwing me off, bro. But yeah, it was a good message in the song, man. I really rock with it. You feel me? But look, man. I'm gonna go ahead and do hit the outro, man. If you're new to the channel, man, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and turn that post notification bell on, man. Yes, to get notified every single time that we upload. The grind ain't stopping, ladies and gentlemen. We on the road to that fifteen, well that twenty k. Ain't gonna say fifteen. We on almost said fifteen. We on, on the road to that twenty k, man. And we are gonna get there with y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? So always keep this in mind, like we always say, man. If you don't remember anything else, please remember this: you have to, or you gotta, however you wanna say it, love life and live free. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Peace. I got the flow and I'm taking off. These niggas hating, I paid the cost. I'm from the six, so I get it in. These niggas hating, I'm do the friends. Pull up, I bet you won't do a thing. Dead silence when my present felt.